on the Tennis Channel FanDuel desk. Happy to be joined by the winner, Yulia Putinseva. Congratulations. Thank great you. battle out there. Great passion. You. you had eight set points to get eight. that fir first <laughs> set done. Eight of them. What, I stopped counting. <laughs> what, what are you thinking about during those eight set points? I mean, I was really frustrated, of course, that I couldn't finish like seven of them. And at some point I was thinking just, or whatever, if it's gonna, if she's gonna win this set, I'm probably gonna try to uh, to stay until three sets and just trying to make it better. And then it helped, like finally I, I made it. <laughs> Eight yeah. times, you, you said you're still thinking yeah. about it now. Obviously, you had a change of opponent today. In the middle yeah. of the day, you find yeah. out you're playing Harriet instead yeah. of Andrea Petkovic. Yeah. How does that affect you? Uh, that was definitely surprising because since yesterday I was preparing my tactic to play Andrea in the first round, and uh, then all of a sudden, like after my last. Um, the referee come to me and say, oh, you have a different opponent and you play dart. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I have to like look real quick again because I haven't played her for a while. So I had to change my tactic and a little bit adapt in the beginning because it's, little, it's a little bit stressful when you like uh, get in, prepare for one opponent and then you get like Im immediately the other one like just before your match. Yeah, absolutely. Well, you're a quick study because you got it yeah. done and you got the win in straight yeah. sets. You've been very successful on clay. You've made the quarterfinals here in Charleston. You've made the quarterfinals twice at Roland Garros. What do you like about this surface? I like that you can do pretty much everything here. You can spin the ball, you can attack, you can uh, slide, drop shot, pretty much uh, all game style. That's what I like to do as well. And uh, I really like to move on clay. I like to slide a lot. So that's uh, the key to play also on clay. Well, you've been very successful into the second round here. You've had an interesting year. Uh, tell us, take us back to Australia. Tell us about your, your little rodent friend that, that you met in the hotel room there. Oh my God, uh, honestly, it's been like a really, really bad start for me. Like since the beginning, I was in a pretty good shape. I played uh, not too bad in uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, lost from match point, but it was a good match. And then I, like I came to Australia and uh, you know, there was a plane, first of all, before me that um, got on a quarantine, but this plane came after us, our plane. So I was like, whew. <laughs> you slid <laughs> by that one. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, good that it's not us. And then I texted the, um, I don't know who, but someone from the Australian Open that when can I get, a, uh, when can I go to practice? And then they like, oh, your plane was, <laughs> it had a, like someone who has a corona, I'm like, uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, and then it was just a little bit, like, really bad, I would say. I had, like, mouse in my room, and they couldn't help me because we was in isolation, so no one could come into the room and help me to get out of it, get rid of it, you know? So you're stuck with the mouse. Yeah, and I was like, uh, what can we do? Like, and they said, I don't want to stay in the, with the mouses. And then three hours later, they was able to change the room just the next door. And I was like, how, how's it? It's gonna come again <laughs> <It's> gonna <laughs> at find some point. You. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then, like uh, two days after, I was like, you know, I I took the situation with that we had to isolate for 14 days, and I was like, okay, whatever. I have to adapt to the situation. Just relax a little bit. And then I see the mouse again, and I was like, <laughs> <laughs> the same mouse. Yeah, I, I don't know if it was the same. <laughs> Maybe multiple mice. I cannot <laughs> recognize them. <laughs> uh, I want to talk to you a little bit about uh, Mike Tyson's daughter. Yeah. you've been mentoring Milan. How, yeah. how did that come about? Uh, I don't know. Just uh, she texted me first time when I was uh, playing Sydney the Sloan Stevens. She texted me and she was like, "Oh, congrats! Like you played so well. Like I love Sloan, but you've had a good match and this and that." And I answered her all oh, like, "Thank you" and stuff. And then we, when we was uh, I was doing my preseason in Florida and she was there and somehow we could manage like to hit a little bit. <laughs> and then I was like uh, so surprised because she was just 10 years old. But but her pace of the ball, like I couldn't believe that she's she can hit that hard. I came like just you know just to hit a little bit. <laughs> and her, da she, her dad's pretty powerful. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> are yeah. you are you a boxing fan? 
uh, I, I'm watching some. Uh, I'm watching because uh, one of my coaches, he's a big, big, big fan of boxing. So he made me and uh, all my team watch like every, I don't know, Friday night or Saturday night. Friday night fights. <laughs> yeah, all the <laughs> fights. And my father was a big fan of boxing. So I, um, I was watching. I know some of uh, the boxing. You got, you got a great connection right now. <laughs> uh, arguably the greatest of all yeah, time yeah. heavyweight, Mike yeah. Tyson. I also read on your bio that, that the one person you want to meet is Eminem. Yeah. How come? Uh, I just love his uh, music. I love what uh, I've been a uh, fan for a while. <laughs> What's your yeah. favorite song? Uh, Eight Mile. Eight Mile. Okay, so Lose Yourself. That's uh, my favorite song. It's uh, Lose Yourself and then Eight Mile Road as well I like. Okay. Yeah, both songs. Uh, that'll, have, that'll pump you up before so a match, many, right? Yeah. No, I, I'm listening different songs, honestly, all the time. Uh, depends on my mood, actually. Sometimes I'm listening to the pop songs before I'm coming to the court. Sometimes I like to listen to the rock or like uh, Red Hot Chili Papers or whatever. So <laughs> I'm pretty like um, a lot of taste. <laughs> well, it's great to see you in a good mood. Great to Thank see you, you happy and winning. We love your passion Thank out there you. on the court. <laughs> it's, it, we're, we're riding that roller coaster Thank with you, you Yulia. Yeah. It's fantastic. Thank you. Uh, into the second round, taking on a fellow Kazakh, mm -hmm. Zarina Diaz. Congratulations yeah. once Thank again, Yulia Putin-Seva. Into round two here at the Volvo Car Open.